They are Israelites, the ones in whose place Paul wants to be cut off from Christ. And he explains what it means that they're Israelites. They have the position of sons, they have the glory, they have the covenants. Now the next one is again a very similar word to the word he invented. The position of sons was called in Greek heothesia. And now the, the other one we're talking about now is nomothesia. You hear the difference? Heothesia, nomothesia. It one says the setting of a son and now it's the setting of Torah, the giving of the Torah. What Paul here actually hints to is what he already said in Romans 3, and he actually there uses the term Jews. He says, to the Jews were entrusted the oracles of God, the sayings, the words, the instructions of the one true living God. That's, that's one of the major reasons why God chose this nation, because he needed somebody to to, to give them what he wanted to tell the world, starting from Mount Sinai, and then in many ways, by the prophets, the psalmist says, he has not dealt us with any other nation. The word nomothesia, given of the law, I translate it now like this, yeah, um, appears just in this place in the Bible. And it's more than just the content of the Torah or of the law. It's more than just having a book thrown down from heaven and bop, you have now the book and now do whatever you want. It means it's this process that God uses to implant his word into this nation. It's not a historical coincidence that the people of Israel, of all nations, received the word of God at Mount Sinai. Actually, again, note, there are a lot of jokes around that in, in Jewish tradition, how they came to the law. And uh, I have to tell you one uh, that was told to me, so a, a, uh, that, that God first did not come to Moses, but he came to, I don't know, to some... Uh, um, to some French and asked him, uh, do, do you want the, the Torah, the, the law? And the French said, oh, what is written in there? And uh, the, the God said, oh, it's written there. You should co not commit adultery. And then the French said, no, no, that's not for us. And then he went to the Polish and uh, asked them, uh, do you want the law? And the Polish asked, what is written in there? And uh, um, the Lord said, you should not, you, you, thou shalt, shalt not steal. And the Polish said, oh, that's not for us. And then he came to the Germans and said, do you want the law? And the Germans asked, what is written in there? He said, you should keep the Sabbath. And the Germans said, oh, we have to work. And, uh, and so he finally came to the Jews, and I was told that by Jews, and, and he, he gave them the law, or uh, wanted to give them the law. And, and Moses said, how much is it? And the Lord said, oh, it's, it's for free. And then Moses said, oh, give me two of them. So you, you have all these kind of jokes that, that, that bear something bitter in it that the Jews say in a way we, we, we did not get rid of it. And it's actually that way that God chose the people in a unique way and enabled them to convey this law or to convey, I want to quote here an apocryphal book that says the imperishable light of the Torah to the world. All writings of the Bible, including the New Testament, Except perhaps Luke, Acts, and Hebrews. We don't know the authors there, but all writings, all books of the New Testament, of the whole Bible, were written by Jews. Hebrew is the language of the prophets, and it was the Jewish people that kept this language alive. Even though they were spread, they were dispersed among all the nations. So I'd really like to emphasize that in the area of explaining scripture, the Jewish people, and I'm talking about the Orthodox Jews, I'm talking about those uh, black people that are often a little bit unsympathetic for us outsiders, secular people, they have something we should get. There might be a 
spark of truth in the Talmudic explanation. I am quoting the Babylonian Talmud in the tractate Brachot 5a. It says there, it talks there about a rabbi, Levi, Barhama, that he declares in the name of Rabbi Shimon ben Lachish, what does it mean when it is written, and he quotes now Exodus 24 verse 12, that I give you these tablets of stone, the law and commandment which I have written to instruct them. And then what they do is they take apart this one short verse and say the tablets of stone means the Ten Commandments. The law that is mentioned here, the Torah, means the five books of Moses, the Pentateuch. The commandment points to the Mishnah, which I have written this term, means the prophets and the writings. And then it says that to instruct them, that hints to the Gemara. The Gemara is the explanation of the Mishnah, which together with the Mishnah makes up the Talmud. And what the rabbis claim is that this tells us that all these things were already given to Moses at Mount Sinai. Now I know that a lot of Yeshua believers um, would contend that. But I would challenge us because reading the Bible is never clean of tradition, is never without preconditions. And I think we should learn anew that God not just dropped a book that we might translate and then understand, but he created a nation. He gave them a certain mindset. He gave them a certain way of learning. And maybe we should remind ourselves that it says that the instruction, the Torah, will go forth from Zion, and it talks about the end times. It talks about our time, maybe, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And maybe, I just want to hint you to certain things, and you will see it in the New Testament. It's not a coincidence that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, said when he talks about the Pharisees and the scribes, I know we normally, in Matthew 23, we know everything negative he said about them. But what he starts with is that he says the scribes and the Pharisees sit. He didn't say they sat once and now they were disobedient and now it went over to us. But he said they sit on Moses' seat. Now listen how he continues. He says, because they sit on Moses' seat, do and observe whatever they tell you. It's not me that I'm saying that. It's Yeshua. It's Jesus. And woe to us if we are too fast, too quickly, throwing all this out, thinking that we are New Testament believers. We don't need that. And in a way, close the door and overlook that. Paul said, they are Israelites, to them belongs the way of conveying God's word.